Well, I'll start off with you. When you heard the decision by organized labor, what did you think? Yes, uh, Bella, uh, they say it's better late than never. I believe labor has, has kept so long in doing what is right in the eyes of the, the Ghanaian uh, public. Uh, we are faced with existential threats. They are very being as labor could be terminated if care is not taken. All our water bodies are polluted. And very glad that you have a first hand testimony today when you did a good job with the Uncle Brad River. You saw it. Pra, people, actually. It's yeah, Pra, it's right? Pra, yeah. Yes, thank you. People leave it around, drink that very water that you saw. So it's no more a joke. And I was very surprised to hear Dan Juma say that his candidate, Alaji Baumia, will continue with the good works of Nana Kufuado. That is very interesting that if you are talking about the good works of Nana Kufuado, then one of the good works that he has done as His Excellency is who had allowed our water bodies to be polluted. So if Dan Yuma is telling the entire Ghanaians that this is what Dr. Baumia intends to do, then it is beautiful and the, the Ghanaian electorate must bear in mind. The good job that the president has done and was to have passed the LI 2462 that mm -hmm. enables our forest uh, reserves to be given for mining purposes. And if it, this is one of the good things that the president, uh, the candidate uh, Baumia is going to uh, uh, follow, then, and, 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 and that is it. So Labour, uh, better late than never, they are, they, are, uh, they are on point, they have to carry through. But I believe that in going on strike, they cannot stretch the entire country for that long. Mm. They can do one or two. Fortunately, we have 66 days to make that determination as to who governs this country come January uh, 7, 2025 going. Mm. And so labor can, beyond this demonstration, I don't believe they have to stretch it, just turn or convert their anger into voting come December so that we do away with this incompetent, this uh, 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 the highly wicked government that has destroyed everything that they came so to. So you're meet. saying the strike is not necessary. They should rather strike in the form of votes. No, they should strike, first of all, to let the government know that they can bite. But okay. I don't want them to stretch it. A day or two will suffice. We are very close. Because they did not start this whole enterprise early, I mm. believe Labour should have started it the moment the president failed to put his presidency on the line, after assuring all of us that mm. his presidency was going to be on the line. As we speak, people that are fighting, young men and women, are behind bars. These are the good works that Dan Yuma is telling us that the president, uh, the Baumia administration is going to follow. That people that decided to fight this canker, that is going to save you and I. Now we are afraid to even eat fish. Mm. And if you think you are in a crime, you are far off the problem, then you must be kidding because the vegetables, the food that you are eating are being grown with these contaminated waters. Yeah. And so we are not safe from it. The fishes that are coming are not good. Everything, the air we are, we are, we are breathing, the, the flora and fauna, that is the oxygen, are all being polluted. So how safe are we? But like I said, uh, we have allowed impunity to permeate. Remember only last Saturday or so, when even your own boss, uh, your president, the Ghana, DJ, uh, Ghana General Association, your president, decided to make an issue with the situation with our environment. The president was not happy with it. Now the president doesn't want us to even talk about things that matter to the people of this country. So I believe that Labour must do what is right by telling their members to vote against incompetence, to vote for people who will not make their work very difficult. At mm. the end of the day, we are looking for leaders that will solve our problems, and not leaders that will compound our problems. The very 11 September statement that you're talking about. Beyond that, what did the president do? He set up a five-member ad hoc committee. When even he set up 10-member interministerial committee chaired by a minister of state, uh, Professor Frempon mm -hmm. and the minister was bold enough, kind enough to have spoken the truth, written a comprehensive report to the president through the chief of staff. Yeah. staff. What happened to that report? Was it not served? The minister later was sued by people that were mentioned just to close his mouth or seal his mouth that he, he does not speak the truth if 10 committee members uh, could not do anything i met one other committee of five and interestingly out of the five committee members all of them were part of the previous committees and if you read professor from bob what is report carefully mm. he makes the point that the national security coordinator the minister for defense the information minister were not interested in the works of the committee. And I must tell you that Galamse as an issue is being spearheaded by the presidency. Why do we miss this point?
Now it is beginning to pan out, it's come out clearly as we hear government functionaries, political NPP functionaries, the coordinator for the Ashanti region and the medical bell for that matter, are you a free year? A medical doctor himself mm. who is supposed to be interested in the health of the people on the altar of cheap, bogus politics. He is telling us that the NPP is not going to deal with, or this government is not going to deal with the issues of Galamse and that he was rather encouraging them to be the polluting the waters and our forest bodies. How was he encouraging them to pollute the water? If you tell bodies? everyone that those that are doing the Kalamse have been imported into this country by and that's not democratic. I, I don't want to speak for them anyway. And you are in government. You have all the state apparatus behind you mm. to be able to deal with them. You are not dealing with them. And tell us that oh, they are the ones destroying it and that you are not going to fight against it. Are you not culpable? Okay. Now it goes to confirm what his own running may said, Napo, that when given the opportunity, they will continue to give the people excavators. He, he wants to even elevate the destruction. Mind you, he is also a medical doctor. I don't know what the dental, um, uh, what's the name? Physicians of dental, mm -hmm. what they are doing. Because any serious professional body, if your members are behaving contrary to what you stand for, I believe by now they should be withdrawing the analysis. You understand? For the statements that they've made. Absolutely. Isn't that extreme? Uh, what is extreme about it? When people are dying, innocent souls are dying, and you have a medical... Interestingly, he is also the chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Health. Mm -hmm. So what do you think he will be doing there? He says his, his words were misconstrued. I Every don't even day know when what they exactly. speak, uh, some, all of a sudden, we lack appreciation of comprehension. They have to come back and tell us that we, they were misquoted. Every day they are misquoted. So why don't you behave properly so that you are not misquoted? Well, no. And indeed, that should show everyone that this administration has no business whatsoever staying beyond the 7th of January 2025. Okay. So for you, I mean, just briefly before we land. So for you, um, the organized labor should go ahead and... They should the go, strike, but, but I don't want them to stretch, uh, stretch it. So for what, two days, I mean, three two days, days, three days. But that won't get government. If they waited 30 days This or government, so, people government demonstrated and he has put them behind bars and he's glorifying... You, you listen to the attorney general. Yeah. They are so happy. So just do it for two days. Okay. And then convert your anger into voting. All right.